Hi, I'm Paul Nguyen, Technical Marketing Engineer. In this short video, I'll demonstrate several solutions of Cisco DNA in mobility. We'll show optimized Wi-Fi for Apple, flexible radio assignment, software-defined segmentation with Trussec and OpenDNS, and comprehensive visibility with StealthWatch. We'll be using a single wireless SSID where clients will authenticate 802.1x and its policies are managed by the Identity Service Engine. For Apple optimized Wi-Fi, this network is set up for fast roaming and fast lane is enabled for prioritizing applications. For network security monitoring, data traffic is generated using NetFlow and being sent to StealthWatch. For segmentation, a combination of dynamic and local policies are hardened with the help of Identity Service Engine to differentiate users, such as contractor, employees, and their access privileges. Let's get a couple of users onto the network. We'll use contractor and employee throughout this demo. Here, a contractor user is authenticated using ICE and connect to the wireless network. From the ICE log, we can see the detail of this user, such as device profile, user role, assigned security group tag, etc. Finally, we get the employee user on as well. On the controller side, we can confirm the client in detail. For example, we can see that this user and Apple device is enabled for fast lane and fast roaming. We can also verify this from the client perspective using an app called Mobile Fast Traffic downloaded from the App Store. Let's take a look at software-defined segmentation for wireless using Trussec. Here we'll classify contractor and employee on the same wireless network by assigning different tags and restrict access based on their security group policy. From within the Identity Service Engine, we have created a simple security group policy to deny contractor and employee. On the wireless LAN controller, we can see these security group policies inherited from the ICE based on source and destination. Going back to our contractor iPad, we can show the enforcement by simple ping to another contractor device. As soon as we enable enforcement on the access point, we can see that the security group access control immediately restrict access between contractor and employee as intended. Next, we'll demonstrate OpenDNS, the cloud-based service that provides a unique policy segmentation when integrated with the wireless LAN controller. For example, a contractor will get differentiated security policy than an employee when accessing the internet. For example, restricted access to gambling and other non-productive internet websites. Registering the wireless LAN controller with OpenDNS is quick and easy. And from there, we map controller profiles with OpenDNS security policies to differentiate user access based on roles given by radius such as the identity service engine. To test this on a wireless device connected on the same wireless network, a contractor attempting to access gambling site. It gets blocked with a unique blocking response page. From the OpenDNS dashboard, we can query various security access logs provided by our controllers. A security insight tool being used for mobility is called StealthWatch, with the wireless network as a sensor. A quick review of the wireless network, we have enabled application visibility, which is also sending NetFlow to StealthWatch for analysis. From StealthWatch, we can see richer application statistics from leveraging the Network-Based Application Recognition, or NBAR, on the wireless LAN controller.